judge has ruled that Newton teachers could face even stiffer fines if a deal isn't reached soon. The school committee and the mayor in Newton say the two sides are close. WBZ's Christina Rex is live in Newton. And Christina, I know you have new information on what has been negotiated. Yeah, Lisa and David, we just received new numbers showing where both sides started and where they've agreed to at this point, though nothing is official just yet. We'll show you those numbers in just a minute. But you can see behind me here, the union is still out here rallying. Many teachers tell me they still feel that a fair contract and fair pay is worth this long wait, even though the judge ordered if this goes on much longer, they'll have to pay even more in punishing fines. We want to get these kids back in school. The teachers want to be back in school. All the educators want to be back in school. But instead, we're back in court. As a judge decided Newton's teachers union will be fined double, $100,000 a day starting next week if no agreement is reached by Sunday night. I hope you take it in the spirit I offer it when I say I hope not to see you again. <laughs> back in Newton, it's Groundhog Day for real. The same playlist, the same chance. <laughs> And frustration, finger pointing, and more frustration is on the menu on all sides. Tired, frustrated, dying to get back and see my students. The district canceled February vacation to make up for 11 lost school days so far. And it took until just yesterday for negotiations to start going through the night. A sense of urgency that feels long overdue. This has been ridiculous. You think about um, when we went on strike, you know, that nobody in, in this entire union would have said that we would have been on day 11 at any point. Both Good sides afternoon. say a deal is within close reach. WBZ just time. received the numbers. And As yes. of last week, the union proposed a $100 million contract. The city proposing a $45 million one over the course of four years. They've agreed upon the money now. The total, approximately $53 million over four years. Now some final details are being renegotiated. All eyes are on the kids. I want to be back in school and have rehearsal. Julia Kobayashi is in seventh grade and missed opening night of her school play due to this strike. Even with two Newton teachers for parents, she's still frustrated. I don't know. I was really looking forward to February 1st because, like, that's the day of the show. That's when everyone comes to see me. And I got, like, a bigger part this year. Tough for those kids who had to miss some milestones in school over the last two weeks. Now, back on the ground here, once an agreement is reached tentatively, both sides will still have to negotiate a back-to-work agreement, back-to-school agreement. They do say they feel confident that can happen by Monday. Now, coming up, we're going to explain. The city says, on top of all the money being discussed around this contract, they say this strike has actually been expensive for the city of Newton. How much they're asking to be paid back? Coming up at 6. Live in Newton, Christina Rex, WBZ News. A lot of good information. Christina, thank you.